describe what sales were like last week? They were okay. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. All the way. Everyone, my name is Becky Park and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Kitizen. I've also recently started selling on ThreadUp and I am actually part-time because I'm a full-time high school choir teacher and this week we finally started teaching and I'm doing this because we're doing remote learning. Let me know in the comments below what you and your family are doing as far as education is concerned. But for now, you know, a lot of schools in Illinois are doing um, like this remote learning uh, model. There are some that are doing more of a hybrid and there are even some mostly private schools that are back in school. So although it's not quite as busy as it probably would be if I were in school teaching, um, it is kind of a lot adjusting to this schedule and kind of lifestyle, if you will. My daughter is also doing remote learning and my husband, who's a first grade teacher, is also, you know, um, teaching now remotely. So we're kind of all like in different parts of the house during the day. Um, it's a little crazy. So in this video, we're going to be talking about sales last week, what sold on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Kitizen. And so if you like this kind of video, you know, videos where um, I outline what items have sold for me, how much I sold those items for, how much I picked them up for, what my profit was, all that kind of stuff, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button because I do come out with a video like this every single week, as well as thrift hauls and, you know, tips videos and things like that. So definitely make sure you subscribe if you have already and hit that notification bell so that you know every time I upload new content. So let's get right into what sold. We are talking about the week of August 17th, which was a Monday all the way through August 23rd, which was a Sunday. It wasn't a great week. Um, a lot of that is because of the fact that I was, you know, putting my energy elsewhere other than my reselling business. And I was really trying to focus on getting ready for school, even though I'm not spending as much time in my school building or like you know, just in front of kids and whatnot, there was a lot of time that went into putting everything that I usually do um, online. You know, I had to create like a Google Classroom and create all these different documents. And yeah, I mean, it, it's a lot of work on the front end. So that's where I've been putting a lot of my energy and it kind of shows in my sales. You know, I wasn't relisting as much as I have been and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, regardless, there were some sales. So let's talk about them. Um, on Monday, August 17th, I had a few sales on Poshmark and one on eBay. The first thing to sell on Poshmark was this pair of Adidas Galetto, Giletto. I don't know how to you know, pronounce it, but it was like the Galetto six firm ground soccer cleats in a size four. Um, you know, most of you know that maybe a couple months ago now, three months ago, I was going to this consignment store in my town and they were letting me shop by the bag, like by the garbage bag. And they would charge me $50 per garbage bag. And I definitely stocked up on as many pairs of shoes as I could because I love selling shoes. I did pick up a lot of like soccer cleats and stuff like that. Um, soccer cleats, especially for like older people, you know, like not children can do okay. For kids though, they're not really a huge money maker. So unless you're able to pick them up for really cheap, I don't really, you know, recommend them that much but these sold for $16 and that was with me offering discounted shipping so I ended up making $10.68 on those and I only paid you know like less than two dollars for them so I'm still turning a profit but not a huge one the next thing to sell was also from that consignment store, and it was this pair of Adriano Goldschmied maternity jeggings in a size 31R. I have heard that Adriano Goldschmied maternity jeans can do really well, so I wanted to pick these up since it was my first time finding the maternity line of Adriano Goldschmied. And Adriano Goldschmied in general is a great denim brand to be on the lookout for. It doesn't get you like, you know, a huge amount of money. I don't think it's as good as like Mother or, you know, brands like that, but it's still pretty good. And so these sold for $23. I believe someone sent me an offer and I made $18 and 40 cents. And I had those both, you know, for probably like two to three months. And then the next thing to sell was also from the consignment store. And it was this white house, black market, black patent leather belt. It was a little bit wider. Um, a couple times that I went to the consignment store, my husband went with me. And one time that we went together, he found this big bag of just accessories. They had like purses and belts and stuff like that. So 
I got a number of belts from more mature brands like White House Black Market and Chico's and um, I wanted to try and sell those myself. So this was one of the, not the first ones, but you know, the first few to sell. And I got an offer on it for $12, so I made $9.05. And then over on eBay, I sold this Banana Republic Ryan Fit Windowpane Wool Blend Metallic Thread Career Pants. They're just like dress pants in a size two. They sold for $12, I made $10.71 after they paid for shipping. That one I have had listed for a very, very long time, probably over a year, and it is something that I was given um, for free by a friend. So that's really cool to move those kinds of items because even though $10.71 doesn't sound that impressive, it's all profit, which is always great. Moving on to Tuesday, August 18th, I sold this pair of Lou and Gray black high-waisted drawstring pants in a size medium. They sold for $10 and I made $7.05. However, I sent the wrong pair of pants. And so I guess I have two pairs of similar pants by Lou and Gray. I had one in a size medium, which was this pair. And then I had another one in a size two and I just wasn't thinking straight and I accidentally sent the size two. So obviously a case was opened and I you know, immediately realized what I had done. And I let them know in that little case blurb section where you can write comments and stuff. I was like, this is 100% my fault. I'm so sorry if you wanna purchase the correct pair of pants for ten dollars let me know um so far she has not and that's just what happens sometimes if you mess up sometimes people are willing to take a second chance on you but i don't blame her for not i mean that was a silly mistake so i would have made seven dollars and five cents but i did not really so i will take that you know amount out of the total that i give you here at the end of the video the next thing to sell on poshmark was this lane bryant outlet and you know that it's outlet because it has like the diamonds underneath where it says lane bryant but it was this striped racer back v-neck dress in a size 22 i believe it was sleeveless i think i got this at the consignment store but i really can't remember for sure regardless it sold for 18 dollars and i made 14 dollars and 40 cents the next thing to sell was this huge bundle it was a six piece bundle it went out to a viewer as well as someone who has bought from me before so shelby Thank you so much both for watching my channel and for being a repeat buyer. It means the world to me. So thank you so much. Um, she's also a teacher. And so she said that she was doing some back to school shopping and wanted to support me and my business. So I thought that was so sweet. Um, so she got six things. The first thing that she got was from the consignment store and it was this pair of Crosby skinny boot cut mid rise jeans in a size 26. Um, I've not really, you know, had that much experience with the brand Crosby. I don't think it's super high end, but the jeans did look, you know, pretty well made. So I just wanted to give them a shot. The next thing I had put in my four for $25 sale, just because I feel like I have a hard time with this brand. I also feel like maybe there was a small flaw with it. I don't remember off the top of my head, but the brand is Daniel Rain. Daniel Rain is sold. I think in stitch fix boxes and I think you can also um, get this brand like at Nordstrom Rack and stuff like that but it was this blue polka dot pullover blouse it was really cute in a size small I think this is the perfect type of top for teachers to be wearing the next thing was by the brand caution to the wind if I remember correctly I'm pretty sure that's an urban outfitters brand but it was this really beautiful like oatmeal colored top and it had like a tie on the front as well as like big flared sleeves so I thought that was perfect especially for the fall that's coming here soon the next thing was by the North Face and it was this cream cap sleeve shirt um, and it had like kind of wooden buttons across the top of the shoulder. It was really nice and sweet, just kind of flowy. And even though it was by the North Face, like it didn't look like very outdoorsy or athletic really. It just looked like a nice, you know, flowy top. And then the next thing that she got was this pair of Clark's Wave Leather Walking Lace-Up Shoes in a size 9W. Um, they were kind of like cream colored. I'd never really seen shoes like this from Clark's before, but Clark's is a good brand. It's a great comfort brand I don't think it's like the most exciting brand I don't think people get like you know super excited about it but I do think it's a brand that people are often looking for especially for people who are on their feet a lot or people who like to take walks um, I think that this is a great brand for those kinds of things and so it's a good brand if you can pick up for you know pretty cheap and then the last thing was this pair of Spanx Look at me now, seamless black leggings in a size medium. Spanx is a great brand. It can do really well. Um, I don't really find it that often, but I was really excited when I found this at the consignment store. So really, I think like all of those items, except for the North Face top, 
came from the consignment store, which is crazy. So I sold that bundle to Shelby for $125 with discounted shipping and I made $97.88. So for real, Shelby, thank you so much. You are amazing. And I hope that you are having an amazing start to your school year. And not only did Shelby buy this amazing bundle from me, but then she came back after this one was delivered and bought two more things from me. So like I said, I just cannot thank you enough. You are so amazing and sweet. And then on Wednesday, August 19th, I sold this pair of Under Armour shoes. They were the UA Charge Ultimate TR 2.0 in a size nine for men. I I don't know. I mean, I think all the stuff that I just said gave you all the information that you need to know, but I don't really understand like what kind of shoes these were or anything like that, but they sold for $25 and I made $20. And then I did have a thread up sale on this day it was this banana republic knee length geometric print skirt in a size 14. it sold on the thread up site for 39 dollars 99 i do believe that this person also used some sort of promo code and you do have to eat the cost of those thread up coupons and stuff i believe up to 20 percent. so if someone uses like a 40 percent off code you don't have to eat the discount all the way up to 40 percent, but you do have to eat it up to 20 percent. so i ended up making 10 dollars on this skirt which to be honest with you is probably what i would have made if I tried to sell it myself I may not have even made that much because I feel like when it comes to Banana Republic skirts um, I have a hard time moving them and I probably would have sat on that for a while too so I was pretty happy with that sale I got that at the consignment store and when I was at the consignment store, I was obviously shopping in bulk and just, you know, pulling anything and everything that I thought I would be able to make some money on and shoving it into these black garbage bags. But a lot of those things I pulled with ThreadUp in mind because it was the perfect opportunity for me to try out ThreadUp. I was able to pick up the majority of the pieces for under a dollar, most of them under 80 cents. And so, you know, the risk was so low that I was definitely willing to just get some things to try out at ThreadUp and see what happened. If you are are interested in selling on ThreadUp, I have a video right here with my top six tips, although honestly there are way more than six tips in that video. But if you're interested in ThreadUp, I would give that video a viewing. Okay, moving on to Thursday, August 20th. I had no Poshmark sales. In fact, I had a three-day drought on Poshmark, but I did have a couple eBay sales. The first one was something that I have had for over a year and a half probably i just relisted it on poshmark and it sold really quickly after me relisting it and relisting it on ebay as well and it was this pair of michael michael kors navy bermuda shorts with zippered pockets in a size two they sold for twelve dollars and ninety cents that was the offer that i sent out to watchers after they paid for shipping i made eleven dollars and 45 cents before i used to just like sell similar and i would tweak things here and there on ebay but what i've been doing is relisting my entire poshmark closet and while i relist on Poshmark, I've been including tags and just like keywords, even at the end of descriptions. And then I've been cross-listing that new listing with like a new title, with a new description, all that kind of stuff. I've been relisting over to eBay, Mercari, Kitizen, TradeZ, really anywhere that I can. And I've been finding a lot of success that way. I think kind of keyword stuffing with obviously keywords that apply to that particular piece. I think it's really been helping. So if you're kind of in a rut, if you're running out of things to list, that's definitely something that I recommend doing. It's something that I learned from uh, my interview with Courtney from Courtney on Posh, and I will link that video right here. But it's something that I think has definitely been bringing many more eyes to some of my much older listings. And that has been really great to just move out pieces like this that I've had forever. I'm also going through and, you know, figuring out which pieces I don't want to hold on to anymore. And I want to just send a thread up and see what they can do with them. But if you are in a place where, you know, you've been selling on one platform and you want to try cross listing to others, I think that's a really great idea, especially as we get closer and closer to the fourth quarter. I personally use the Chrome extension called list perfectly. I will have an affiliate link for it down below. I think it's amazing and it helps me cross list things so quickly and efficiently. So Definitely check that out if you want to save 30% off of your first month using List Perfectly. The next thing to sell was another one of those things that I had listed forever and then I finally relisted it and it sold within a week of me relisting it. And it was this express fitted polo shirt in like this really bright yellow color in a size small. It is a men's piece. It sold for $12. They've not paid for it yet. So hopefully that happens soon. But when they do, I should make around $9.92 on that. And that was something that I think my brother gave 
gave it to me or like my brother's friend gave it to me. So it was free and I just listed it to see what would happen. And it finally sold after like a year of being listed. On Friday, August 21st, I had a couple eBay sales. The first one was this new with tags, Disney Tsum Tsum graphic leggings in a size youth medium. I sold something very similar to this a couple weeks ago in a black color. And that's because my friend who gave me these, um, her daughter had two of them. They were both new with tags. She never wore them. So she gave them to me. My daughter, you know, doesn't really care for this show, this whatever. I don't know what Tsum Tsum is, but, um, and, and they were like way too big for her. So rather than just have them, you know, take up space in her closet, something that she's not even super excited about, I just went ahead and listed them. And these finally sold for $9 and 99 cents, which I believe was my new full asking price because these were also a relist because they are amongst the oldest listings in my Poshmark closet. And after they paid for shipping, I made $8 and 94 cents. And then the last thing to sell was also a relist. And it was this Polo by Ralph Lauren Pima soft touch shirt, or like a polo shirt in a size large. It sold for $15, which isn't huge, but after having it in my closet and in my eBay store for over a year, $15 sounds amazing. After they paid for shipping, I made $12.86. On Saturday, August 22nd, I had a thread up sale, which was this Lane Bryant black sleeveless casual dress in a size 26. This sold on their site for $46.99. So I had a payout of $13.40. I, you know, a lot of people talk about Lane Bryant and how it sells really well for them. It does not sell well for me. Let me know in the comments down below how Lane Bryant does for you, but I have a really hard time moving it. Um, and I mean, not that I haven't moved it because obviously even earlier in the week I did sell like a different Lane Bryant outlet dress, but I don't know, like if I have it in my closet, it usually sits for a while, but it doesn't get a lot of attention. It will sell eventually, but I don't know. I just have a hard time. I have heard that Lane Bryant jeans can do really well. I don't find Lane Bryant jeans very often. And I guess when I have, like they've moved quicker than their tops or their dresses, but I don't know. It's not a brand that I get excited about. So that's why I wanted to try sending it into thread up and they sold it for me pretty quickly. And like I said, I got a payout of $13 and 40 cents with very minimal effort. So I'm all about that life. <laughs> And by the way, if you are interested in ThreadUp, I will have a link down below as well for a course that you can take. It is taught by a woman named Chriselle. She has made like, I think it's over $100,000 or something on ThreadUp. It's crazy. So if you want, you know, someone to kind of hold your hand through the process of how to sell on ThreadUp, um, as someone who's had way more experience than I have, I'll have that link down below so that you can possibly save $40 on her course because it's a really great course and just kind of takes you through it step by step. And then the last sale that I had on that Saturday was a kittizen sale. And it was again from the same friend whose daughter, you know, didn't wear those Tsum Tsum leggings. And it was the Star Wars Jedi in training t-shirt in a size youth large. It sold for $12. Um, I paid for shipping, which was $3 and 65 cents. And so I ended up making $6 and 85 cents. I relisted that one as well because I've had that in my closet forever. So that felt really good. And I've been watching a lot of Big Bang Theory lately. So that like resonated with me in a very different way because you know, Big Bang Theory, they're all about like Star Wars and Star Trek and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, Jedi in training. <laughs> okay, last but not least, on Sunday, the 23rd of August, I had one sale that I was so excited about on Poshmark and it was this pair of new with tags or new on the box Sorel Phoenix Moto leather waterproof boots in a size six and a half. They were brown. I did get them retail arbitrage and I think I paid like 30 ish dollars for them. I really only do retail arbitrage at like one store and it's this um, store that's in our town and they, you know, sell brands like Patagonia and Arcteryx and, um, you know, those kinds of brands. And so they had this big blowout sale and I got a few different things, including like shoes, including, I don't know, all sorts of stuff. So I have had these for you know, a few months now, like I got them in February, I think. So I'm just glad that they finally sold. They sold for $110. So my profit on that was $88. Um, and like I said, I think I probably paid around $30 for them. So I ended up making $50, which is pretty good. 
And then um, the next thing to sell on Poshmark was again from Shelby. She got this two piece bundle. The first item was this pair of Fabletics black cropped leggings in a size small. They're like the perfect pair of leggings. They have like the little zippered pocket on the back where you can put like your gym card or like a key or something. I really like Fabletics leggings. I don't know about you. I don't know if you're team Lululemon or Fabletics or I think you can be both, but I personally really like Fabletics. I think that they fit really well and they're just really great quality. The next thing that she bought in her bundle was this long sleeve t-shirt and it had um, the words free gift or like the free gift or something like that on the front, but it was a reference to the Bible verse Romans 6.23. I did get this for free from a friend. Um, she had cleaned out her closet with her sister and her parents and this was one of the things in there. And you know, at first glance, I was thinking about just donating it because a lot of times these kinds of t-shirts you know, they don't garner a lot of attention, but it holds a special place in my heart. And I figured there would be other people, you know, out there who really like this verse and wanted to wear the shirt. So I went ahead and listed it and Shelby picked it up. So Shelby, thank you so much. I hope you love it. And this bundle um, I sold to her for $35 with discounted shipping. So I made $25.88 off of those two items. And the Fabletics leggings were from the consignment store. The next thing to sell was over on eBay. Again, this is something that I've had forever. I think my brother gave it to me and it was this pair of Top Man, which is, you know, Top Shop, but like the men's store, navy skinny dress pants in a size 28 by 32. Yes, my brother is very skinny. <laughs> he's, you know, yeah, he's just a thin man, but um, they sold for $19.90. That was the offer that I sent out to watchers. And that is something that I relisted very recently because I've been relisting everything in my closet, starting with my oldest list. Things. And after they paid for shipping, I made $16.99. Like literally, I think they sold like the day after I relisted them. So that was amazing. And then the last thing to sell, really not a super exciting sale, but it was over on Mercari and it was this lot of four baby mittens. You know, like when babies um, are first born, a lot of times they want to like scratch their face and um, they're just touching themselves all the time. So a lot of times parents will get them those like little mittens that they can wear so that they can still move their hands around and they can touch their face if they want, but they're not going to like scratch themselves. So I had four that my kids used. Um, I lotted them up. I think I had them listed for like $10. Someone asked if I would sell them for six, but I knew, you know, with free shipping, that would mean I make like a dollar or something. So I was like, what about eight? And she was like, okay. So we did that. I paid $2 and 78 cents to ship that out to her. So I made $4 and 42 cents. That's roughly a dollar and 10 cents per pair of mittens. But again, that's something that my kids used and I'm happy to pass them on to a new home. So that is everything that sold this week. Like I said, not the most you know, exciting week, but that's to be expected when a lot of my attention is going elsewhere. On Poshmark, I sold 15 things and I made a profit. So this is the money that's going in my bank account. I'm already accounting for shipping discounts and platform fees. Um, I made a profit of $291.34 on Poshmark. And then on eBay, I sold six things for a profit of $70.87. That's not very good. And then I sold one thing on Mercari for $4 and 42 cents on kittison i had the one sale where i made six dollars and 85 cents and on thread up i had two sales and i made 23 dollars and 40 cents so in total i sold 25 items and i made 396 dollars and 88 cents and i'm just now realizing that that does not include the return that I talked about, um, you know, on those blue and gray pants. So it's actually more like a flat $390 that I made this week. That's not where I want to sit. You know, typically I average around like four or $500 per week, but I'll take it. Given the fact that I was very distracted and just kind of all over the place as far as what I was doing last week, I wasn't relisting as many things as I typically was before. And so that's to be expected. I've kind of, you know, gotten back on the bandwagon a little bit as far as relisting and stuff is concerned, especially now that I'm getting into the groove of teaching and I'm feeling a little bit better about it. Um, the last thing that I'll say is Animal Crossing has also been part of the reason why I feel like my sales are taking a hit, but I also feel like I'm a little less excited about Animal Crossing, which is probably a good thing because I'm not playing it as much. So that's what my sales look like. Um, I do like to update you on my consignment store stuff, letting you know how many pieces I've sold from that consignment store and how much I've made um, from the items that I got there thus far. This doesn't include any of my thread up sales, but um, just from stuff that I've sold myself on the various 
you know, platforms that I sell on. I've sold 180 items for $2,993.17. So almost three grand and I paid $1,400 initially. So we're sitting pretty, we're doing really good. And I'm really excited about, you know, the fact that a lot of that stuff is still moving. And also the fact that I'm moving out a lot of older pieces of inventory, which feels amazing. I would love to hear how your sales were last week and even just what your sales look like right now. Um, it's a, you know, hard time. It's a hard time for everyone. Um, there are a lot of families who are in the similar boat as me as far as, you know, their kids are remote learning or they themselves as teachers are, you know, remote teaching um also you know i know that as a country we're just still not doing super great you know our economy is still suffering and obviously that's going to play a part in how we do as people selling on these different reselling platforms so even if your sales are not where you want them to be it is okay show yourself some grace take some time just for yourself to like reboot refresh um don't get down just because of your sales you know your sales your numbers do not define you and i know sometimes i can get in that rut of not really believing that like i'll get in this rut of oh i stink and i should be doing better and you know all these different things but at the end of the day that is not what matters it doesn't matter how many things you sold or you know how many active listings you have in your ebay store or poshmark closet those are not the important things so don't forget to spend time on the things that really matter and take care of yourself and your family and your loved ones that's really what is most important so there's my ted talk for the day thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy this video at all please make sure that you hit that like button to help out me this video and my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye